It was another day of glorious sunshine in Eastbourne for the semi-finals of the Aegon International. Viewing has been sweet for spectators this week, but with just four remaining, who would progress to the showpiece? Caroline Wozniacki and Agnieszka Radvanska both harbour hopes of a second title down on the south coast. But a pair of the WTA's rising stars were out to stop them. Radvanska took to centre court first. The ninth seed looked vastly improved in her quarter-final triumph over Svetlana Peronkova. Standing between her and a spot in the final was a well-rested Sloane Stevens, who advanced with a walkover against Daria Gavrilova. Radvanska has beaten the American in all three of their previous meetings, and that record looks set to continue early on here. Oh, that is just spectacular. Stevens wasn't helping herself. The world number 43 gifting Radvanska the opening set 6-1. Radvanska has run away with it. Stevens was seeking a first WTA final singles appearance. And that looked a distinct possibility with some fine hitting from the back of the court. That's well finished. And just a renewed impetus about Stevens now. The pair would exchange breaks in games four and five as a tiebreak ensued. The momentum now firmly with the American, who dominated it to force a decider. And it's taken at the first time of asking. We are going the distance in this semi final. Radvanska looked rattled, and she'd receive an unwanted visitor at the start of the third set. Oh, we have an intruder. Not that it affected Stevens, continuing to pull out all the big shots. Oh, stunning. But she couldn't produce when it mattered, as Radvanska opened up a two-love lead. Radvanska breaks through early on in this third set. The world number 13 has never won the same tournament twice, but she's on course to do that here. Three breaks, enough to see the pole close it out and remain on course for a first title of 2015. And match point number two is taken by Rabatska. A confidence boost for her with Wimbledon just around the corner. Uh, I'm just very, very happy to have a lot of good matches against top players here and I think this is the best preparation before Wimbledon. So that was the goal and, and I think I did it and now we just have to see what's going to happen in London. With 2009 champion Wozniacki the only seed left in the top eight, many have her down as the favourite to land this year's title. It's been far from plain sailing for the second seed in Eastbourne so far this week, and on paper her semi-final match-up with Belinda Bencic looked no different. Tied at one apiece in their head-to-heads, the 18-year-old won their last encounter earlier this year at Indian Wells. Wozniacki looked out of sorts on centre court, broken in the opening game. Well, a bit of a sluggish start from Wozniacki. Another followed in the third to hand Bencic a three-love advantage before the Dane called for the trainer with complaints of pain in her back. Well, more evidence of those nerves. The world number five eventually deciding not to continue to hand Bencic the match after just 13 minutes on court. This is a huge disappointment. I'm very happy that I'm in the final, but uh, of course not this way. Um, I hope uh, that Caroline can recover very good and be ready for Wimbledon. Um, of course, it was a little bit disappointing also for the people and as well for me. So, um, yeah, I just, I just hope I can play a good final tomorrow. So, Bencic will square off against Radvanska in Saturday's showpiece. The pair have never met before, and with Bencic in search of a first WTA title, Radvanska vying for a first of the year, it has all the makings of a classic.